Welcome back to Tech Radar. I'm Matt Phillips. Today, I'm joined by our phones writer, Tom Bedford. Tom, how are you doing? I am good, Matt. How are you? Very well indeed, because Xiaomi have just announced the Mi 11 phone. And so we're going to chat all about it and the other stuff they announced at the event for your viewing pleasure. If you like that, drop a like, subscribe to Tech Radar on YouTube as well, so you don't miss any of our future phones coverage. But right now, Tom, maybe give people a little bit of context. Who are Xiaomi and why should people care about Xiaomi's brand? Sure. Um, Xiaomi are a Chinese smartphone company. As they announced in the live stream, they're now the third biggest mm. in terms of market share smartphone company after Samsung and Huawei. They're known for doing the whole uh, high spec, low prices thing, but doing it really well, having lots of good handsets that hit that market share, as well as a few premium and low end ones. Mm -hmm. And that's why they've grown hugely over the last few years. Uh, really popular now. And the Mi 11 is their newest flagship for 2021. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, you're absolutely spot on. They're, they're already coming in at that kind of mid-range price point, if you like. They announced that the Mi 11 is 749 euros. Do we have any information on, on kind of other locations and other currencies for, for that price tag? At the moment, we don't know, but uh, that euro price is almost exactly the same price as the Xiaomi Mi 10 euro price. So we could see uh, roughly 700 pounds sterling and uh, about four figures Australian dollars price. Xiaomi doesn't usually bring its phones to the US, so we won't see a release there. So this is a, a premium price tag, really, but a low-end one in the terms of premium spectrum. Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing a lot of other smartphone manufacturers coming out of that plus $1,000 price point right now. Um, but, but of course, this is the, the Mi 11. Can we expect a Mi 11 Pro coming sometime in the near future? Well, there were lots of rumours about that, as well as an Ultra, a really top-end one, mm. and a light. At the moment, we haven't seen any of those, which surprised a lot of people who expected to see it at this event. We could, but um, I would expect we won't see all of them at this rate uh, if Xiaomi's not going to announce them all at once. Maybe sure. we'll see a Pro soon, because that's the one that's been rumoured most of all. Fair enough. Well, it'll be exciting to see what happens there. But let's jump now back to the Mi 11 itself then. And let's chat through some of the kind of top line specs of this thing. So first off, the design. We've got a 6.81 inch 2K AMOLED screen. So how does this stack up screen specs wise against the other competition of flagship phones coming out at the moment? This is a big boy compared <laughs> to lots of the others. Samsung Galaxy S21, that's 6.1 inches. So it's noticeably smaller. Absolutely. This is even a hair above the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, which is just 6.8 inches. In terms of resolution, this does beat out most other smartphones, which have uh, 1080p screens, apart from the Ultra being one exception and Sony's Xperia 1 phones being uh, another exception. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you put this side by side with another phone of the same price, it will be higher res. It'll also be a lot brighter. And it feels like for the Xiaomi Mi 11, the screen is the thing that Xiaomi is really pushing forward here. It's the one with all the upgrades, all the new tweaks and everything you want to see in it really. So this is the big selling point of the phone. Yeah, absolutely. 128 refresh rate, 240 hertz touch input refresh rate. Um, so like we said, this is, this is kind of far and away well, maybe not far and away, but a little bit better than the other flagships we see coming out at the moment. You can get it in gray, white, pale blue. What are your, what are your top line thoughts of those color choices? They're okay. There's nothing hugely <laughs> vibrant. I was crossing my fingers during the live stream and saying, like, have a bright green one, have a bright yellow one, have a pink one or something. But uh, Xiaomi's phones are typically a little bit more subdued, especially their top end ones. So I wasn't expecting anything yeah wild you gotta you gotta appeal to the mainstream and you gotta appeal to the masses and then obviously as well we've got gorilla glass victus on the front and back very tough and they announced as well first screen repair within the first 12 months is free what a lovely little addition to add on then a little step above the competition as well they're almost tempting you to try and break it because <laughs> uh we haven't seen corning gorilla glass victors before this is a new version Right. It's Corning Gorilla Glass, which is the glass most smartphones are made out of. This is one that's meant to be super hardy. So uh, we will, of course, be drop testing this thing as much as possible when we're reviewing it. Love the sound of that. Love the sound of that. Moving then on to the cameras. And this is where they spent a large portion of the presentation right now on the cameras. Three cameras on this one, which is notably one less than the Mi 10. So are we missing out here? I don't think we are. I think it is an upgrade uh, because the Xiaomi Mi 10, like lots of other smartphones, had two two megapixel auxiliary cameras, which didn't really add much. We, mm. we found in our review and our testing. So um, here it's got rid of those two and it's added instead a five megapixel telemacro camera, which is supposed to be really good for macro. And we've seen quite a few smartphones use macro lenses, which are used for taking really close up pictures of objects. 
but this sounds like Xiaomi's really going all in on it and trying to make a lens which takes really good close-up pictures. It's probably the biggest uh, photography change that we've seen for the cameras. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And another sort of uh, camera feature that they were touting, as well as their photography standards, is their night video modes. Tell us a little bit about this, Tom. Yeah, so uh, video modes are probably after the screen, the big uh, change Xiaomi's making with the Mi 11. It's mm -hmm. positing it as like a, a movie phone, uh, both for viewing and for taking. And all the camera modes are one of the big changes there. So ultra night mode, it kind of does what it says in the tin. It's meant to take really good uh, video of low light settings. So if you're filming your friends in the dark, you should be able to see them really well with this. This is just one of like loads of different film modes they've got. Um, some of the ones they showed off in the live stream were automatic color grading. So uh, while you're taking a picture, you can make it look warmer or colder or more saturated, mm -hmm. however you want it to look. They've got a few different uh, effects which replicate effects uh, you'd need a film crew to do. One of them was the dolly zoom, which you'll know from say Lord of the Rings or Vertigo, where the background changes as they pan out and zoom in at the same time, which looked quite weird on the smartphone, but maybe <laughs> yeah. it'll work well. Another one was parallel mode, so you could film the person and you'd see the same video flipped on the top. So it's kind of Inception style where you can see the world above uh, you. So it remains to be seen like how useful these will be to sure. people. I don't know how many people uh, were looking at a normal smartphone and thinking like, oh, I wish I could flip the world and do a video <laughs> with me on top of it. But uh, Xiaomi always has a few modes like this, like really kind of weird but interesting video modes that are fun to play around with a bit. So uh, if nothing else, I'm looking forward to the review just to test out these things and see what they do. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and obviously powering all those incredible camera specs is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset, the same one that we're seeing in the Samsung S21 of late. Uh, so how does this read to you? Is this is this a good move? Uh, it's kind of expected of them, honestly. Mm -hmm. Xiaomi, as with most flagship phones, they're expected to have the new top Qualcomm chipset. And this is no difference. And it should bring a bit better processing power. It's probably required for some of these video and camera modes and hopefully it should be better optimization for the screen and the battery. So hopefully the phone will last quite a bit before you have to charge it. Fantastic stuff. And I know obviously the, the like we said, the S21 uses the Snapdragon 888 chipset as well, but only in the US, right? So yes. we use the Exynos chipset in the UK and, and other regions as well. So are we expecting a chipset change depending on the region here for the Mi 11? No, uh, Xiaomi phones always have the same chipset wherever you are. So we should see the 888 wherever you are. Fantastic stuff. I know a lot of people really care about that Snapdragon chipset and they want to see that in their phones. So that might be a, uh, a plus side for a lot of you out there. Another thing to mention then is the dual speaker setup we've got on here, uh, tuned in by Harman Kardon. Uh, tell us a little bit about this, Tom. Um, well, this is for when you're just like playing games or watching video on your phone without speakers or without headphones or anything. So you can hear like surround sound a little bit better because mm -hmm. most phones only have one speaker. So it plays out of one side and it can feel a little bit tinny or a little bit weird. A few phones have dual speakers, so it comes out of both sides, so it's a bit better. Um, the Xiaomi Mi 10 was, in fact, like out of all the smartphones I've tested since I've worked at Tech Radar, the one that I've noticed, like, wow, the speakers on this, like you can notice that it's above any other smartphone speakers. So for the Xiaomi Mi 11, if they've improved that, that's only a good sign. Absolutely. Fantastic stuff. And then moving on to battery life, another thing I know a lot of people care about, 4,600 milliamp hour battery. How does this stack up against everything else we're seeing in the smartphone market at the moment? This is the big question of the phone. I think this is the one thing I'm a little bit dubious about. The reason right. being that uh, flagship smartphones usually have batteries that are between 4,000 and 5,000. Um, so it's kind of roughly an average there. But mm -hmm. the problem is this phone has a massive screen, like 6.81 inches, and the screen is the thing that takes up most of the battery life. Mm -hmm. So unless there's been lots of optimizations, we could see that battery struggle to last a day. And it's the thing that we'll need to test out most, really. Absolutely. And then a big question on a lot of people's minds will be, will a charger come in the box, Tom? Because obviously, as of late, it's becoming the industry norm to not include a charger in the box. Are we going to get one with yeah. the 11? So Xiaomi did a really weird fake out with this in its <laughs> live stream. It initially said that it won't come with a charger, which matches up to its release in China because it, it's been available in China for a while now and you can't get it with a the charger there. Right. But after saying it doesn't come with a the charger, they then said, lol jokes. Yes, it does. And it's a 55 watt GAN charger. Uh, GAN chargers are a little bit more uh, heat efficient and this is a wall charger which uh, charges up to the same speed that the phone can take, 55 watts, which is better because most smartphones with fast charging don't actually come with chargers that facilitate that. 
So you yep. will be able to charge the phone at its full speeds with this, but it did look huge, the one he showed in the live stream. So it will come with a box about as big as me, really. <laughs> looking forward to it, looking forward to it. So that covers most of the specs that were coming out of the, the Mi 11 launch there. Um, but they did mention at the end, they teased a Mi 11 special edition. As far as I could tell, this was just a slightly different look to the phone. Is there any more news on that? It doesn't seem to. It has more of a textured effect on the back, so mm -hmm. it looks a little bit prettier, but all we saw at the Chinese launch was this different image, and it doesn't seem like there's any changes now either. Fantastic stuff, fantastic stuff. And of course, at the event as well, they mentioned two other devices. They mentioned the QLED Mi TV Q1 75 inch, it includes Google Assistant, and a physical mute button, so you could turn off Google Assistant properly if you want to. Um, no, nothing too crazy and special there, but then the Xiaomi Electric Scooter Pro 2 Mercedes AMG. Oh, God, I can't even do it. I can't even get through it. Uh, tell us a little bit about the electric scooter that they showed off. Well, uh their new electric scooter, the name I'm not even going to try and pronounce after <laughs> your attempt at it, it's uh, basically a tweaked version of its electric scooter, the Xiaomi Mi Electric Scooter Pro 2, something like that. Brilliant. That was <laughs> launched last year, which is just like its newest uh, pro level electric scooter. So it's got all the top specs, like it's got, uh, it goes the speed limit in most countries, it's got a big range, it seems mm -hmm. quite well protected. But this version, is has been made in collaboration with and this is the confusing part mercedes amg patronus f1 team um so sure. formula one cars and they haven't shared much information on how it's actually different to the non uh tuned electric scooters safe from the design so at the moment it looks like it's just a different color but there could be more under the bonnet or under the board so to speak uh, in this one <laughs> well, it'll be exciting to see what happens with that then and then of course there was another announcement out of xiaomi as well today it wasn't part of the event officially um but tell us a little bit about this xiaomi could be releasing new tablets to rival entry-level ipads yeah so um a little bit before the xiaomi mi 11 global launch the company ceo spoke to some fans in a video and uh Something that was confirmed there was that the company is going to be bringing back both its Mi Tab and its Mi Mix lines. So the Mi Mix line is its entry-level smartphones. We right. haven't seen one since 2019. And its Mi Tab, or as the name suggests, its tablet lines. We haven't seen one since 2018. Uh, so these would be mid-range in their category, so mid-range phones, mid-range tablets. And the tablets are the really exciting bit because there are not many mid-range tablets on the market mm -hmm. right now. The main one is Apple's iPad and Samsung now and then has tablets which dabble in the line a little bit. But if you're looking for a tablet that isn't like a cheap, easy one just for a big screen and isn't a professional grade one, you're usually stuck with going to iPads. But now if Xiaomi can kind of replicate its smartphone formula of like top specs, low prices, for a tablet, there could be a new competitor in the line. Well, that'll be really interesting to see. Of course, we plan on doing a full review of the Mi 11. Are you tackling that one for us, Tom? Yes, as soon as I can. Fantastic stuff. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll get a video review up for you guys as soon as we can, I promise. Uh, but I think that pretty much covers everything from the event. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Tom, for joining me. And we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.